Jake Ludington here at IBM Impact, and I'm here with Chris Borchers of the jQuery Foundation. And jQuery is, I, I would say, arguably the most widely used JavaScript library on the planet. But how did it get there? So I would say it got there by by solving a major problem. Uh, back when jQuery came out, browsers uh, kind of went their own way in terms of implementing uh, different uh, JavaScript APIs and things like that. And what J jQuery did was it brought those APIs together. Um, and so you could write once and it would work across all browsers. So that's kind of where the jQuery tagline, write less, do more, came from, where you could, you could write one single uh, statement and it would work across all the browsers. And so that, that sort of unification of, of the browser APIs really made it uh, uh, the most popular JavaScript library. So it's fair to say that because developers, and I, I call myself out there too, are inherently lazy, that, that <laughs> jQuery made life easy. Definitely, yeah, yeah. And, and that's not to say, I mean, even today, I mean, even in modern browsers, I mean, we're still fixing uh, bugs. We're putting in, in fixes to, to fix bugs in modern browsers as well. So um, we're still there. We're still uh, uh, an important piece to the web. So how does the jQuery Foundation fit into the, the world of jQuery? Sure. So the jQuery Foundation itself is a it's a member supported nonprofit organization that um, was originally started to support the jQuery projects, um, and now it goes kind of beyond that to to a number of other things. So what are some of those things? What are the what's the big picture of the jQuery Foundation? So kind of our our sort of grandiose vision is that um, we want to make the open web available to everyone. So. Um, we, we work toward different uh, standards. We, we have representation on standards bodies like the W3C and ECMA. Um, we work with browser vendors to help report bugs, um, work on bugs, um, and even just bring uh, new emerging standards to these browsers and, and encourage them to implement them. So we kind of act as that sort of developer voice um, to browser vendors, standards bodies, um, and just sort of a, a voice for the open web in general. So we, we go out and, and represent at events like Impact and just talk about the open web and how important it is for, for the internet as a whole. Are there any, uh, any big wins that you guys have made that, that have uh, enacted change in the browsing world? Um, I, mean, I mean, we're always... Uh, uh, working toward toward fixing bugs and things like that. Um, recently, we've helped contribute to um, development for the picture element, which is sort of a new responsive image uh, element. Um, we've we've contributed to our project that's working on getting that implemented in uh, the Blink uh, engine and as well as WebKit. Um, we're working on pointer events. Um, to help sort of bring awareness around pointer events to unify mouse and touch and, and those type of events uh, throughout the web. So um, there's a lot of good progress going on. Sounds like you're, you really are making the web better for everyone. That's the goal. <laughs> All right, thanks, Chris. Yeah, thank you.